Hi, this is Lewis from SoFly, and in this video I'm going to show you how to import to custom plugin or theme fields with WPL import. So I have this theme called Open Door installed on my site, and that allows me to either do real estate or vehicle listings. I've done vehicle listings, and you see if I add a new listing, not only do I have a place to put the title and the content, but I also have places for all these extra fields like manufacturer, model, price, mileage, engine size, fuel type, all this other stuff related to vehicles. And I want to be able to import to these fields with WPL import. So how do you do that? Well, it's actually easier than you would think. All you have to do is create one vehicle listing or one post and just fill out the fields that you want to be able to import to with WPL import. Once you save that post, WPL import will detect the fields automatically and then you'll be able to import to them inside of WPL import. And then once you do your import, you can delete this posts later. So I'm going to fill out the fields I want to import to. I want to be able to import the manufacturer, the model, and I'm just entering in dummy data right here. It doesn't matter what you put. Um, it could be anything. We want to import the mileage, the model year. What else do we have in here? We have transmission. Let's import that. Fuel type, do we have that? Uh, yes, we do. Um, exterior color and interior color. And it does, we could put we could put nonsense in these boxes. It doesn't matter, it's just so WPL import picks up the fields. Um, what else do we want to put in here? VIN number, we, we do have the VIN number. Okay, so that's all the fields I want to be able to import to. Now we will save this post. And now let's do an import with WPL import and see those fields. So you get a new import, upload file, vehicles.xml, and now we'll import this to vehicle listings. Continue to step two. And WPL import has detected photos. We don't want to import only additional photos, we want to import the entire vehicle, which is contained in an element called add. We have many add elements in this file, 43 of them. So this will create 43 vehicle listings, one for each add element. Continue to step three. And now we'll set up our title and content as normal. So let's set that to the year, make, and model. And then we'll set the content to the uh, add description. Preview that, looks good. And now let's set up the custom field. So we go to the custom field section and it says your website is using custom fields to store data for vehicle listings. Click see detected fields and WPL import will automatically detect the fields that you need to import to. And it's also detected the values we entered in we're just going to get rid of those and enter the values from our XML file. So the manufacturer, that would be the make in this case. Level two, that would be the model. The price is right here. Uh, one thing about the price, it looks like our theme wants the price with no extra zeros at the end. In our file, we have these four zeros at the end. So we're just going to replace those. We're going to strip them out. So. Replace that with just blank space, and this is a PHP function. There's other documentation on using these that'll just strip out these four zeros. Mileage is the odometer value. Year will be right here. Transmission, automatic, fuel type. Color, let's use the exterior color, interior color. And then these two banner values fields, I think this theme displays like an overlay above the images. And if we don't choose a banner, if we just leave it at the default, then it won't display that overlay. So we'll just leave it as the default. This is the default value if you just saved a vehicle listing without choosing anything. It's not sold. No, the vehicle is still for sale. We do want it to appear in the slideshow, set that to yes. And then the VIN is right here. And then let's just set up some images just so the site looks good once we run the import. 
So we'll put in the main photo. And then we'll just put in two additional photos. I could put in all of them, but I just want to do this import quickly. And with 43 cars and lots of photos, it could take a couple minutes if we put in a lot of photos. So continue to step four, and WPL import is going to create new vehicle listings for each unique record in our file. How do we make, how do we specify what's unique? This add ID is unique for each record, but we could just use the auto detect button and WPL import does it for us. Now let's continue. Uh, we're ready to go. Our settings are good. Confirm and run import. And this might take a minute, so I'll probably pause the recording and come back in 30 seconds or a minute once it's done. Okay, the import is now complete. Let's go over to our vehicle listings and see the imported fields. So as you can see, it's imported the vehicles, the price, the mileage field, the sold field. If we go and look at one of these vehicles individually, uh, it's got the manufacturer, model, price, mileage, model year, all that stuff. Let's take a look at this on the site just to see that it really did work. Here are those theme fields displaying right here. And that is how easy it is to import to plugin or theme custom fields with WPL import.